But first to a story that's going to be front page news tomorrow of the Daily Telegraph. And I'm going to bring you that front page in just uh, a few minutes when it's ready to go. It's about the man who was sensationally billed by 60 Minutes as a Chinese spy, breaking ranks to defect to the West. Wang Lichang claimed in a world exclusive to have controlled and ordered high-level operations, including a kidnapping, and ran a social media effort to meddle in the Taiwanese elections. We established a cyber army. If we wanted to attack someone, we could instantly take down their Facebook. I was responsible for organizing the cyber army attacks. Taiwan was the most important work of ours. The infiltration into media, temples and grassroots organizations. But I can tonight reveal that Wang's claims of being a major player in the espionage space are believed to be highly dubious. And this will be the focus of the Daily Telegraph's front page tomorrow. Was Wang a Chinese spy at all? Well, Australia's security and intelligence agencies gave advice to the Morrison government's National Security Committee of Cabinet on the matter on Tuesday in Canberra. The advice given by security agencies was that Wang is not believed to be a Chinese spy at the level where there would be any interest in him from Australia's point of view. While he might have done some very low-level work, and I repeat, very low-level work, Wang did not operate in Australia and he would not add value to our country, according to this assessment. Among the reasons that created doubt around Wang's claims to be a Chinese spy or a high-level one were his young age, which raised alarm bells, the absence of detail in the information that he provided, and the fact that most, if not all of it, was already in the public domain. It's understood that it's more likely he was using the guise of a spy as a construct to get asylum or residency in Australia. It's a, a big stretch, a big stretch, a big cover to try and get residency in Australia. Now, Wang is represented by former Labor candidate George Newhouse, and he's a left-leading human rights lawyer who's well-versed in handling the claims of asylum seekers from Manus and Nauru. And you might remember him back from when he ran against Malcolm Turnbull in the Wentworth uh, federal election. So how was it that Wang came to such prominence where he occupied the attention of the National Security Committee of Cabinet? Well, Liberal backbencher Andrew Hasty who's a well-known China critic, so much so that he's been barred from entering the country, outrageously so, he was put in contact with Wang on October 8. He then referred him to ASIO that same day, according to the Australian newspaper's report. The Australian also revealed that before the story in 60 Minutes aired, Hasty again contacted security agencies to check that Mr Wang's claims were being investigated. Hasty, as I said, he's an outspoken critic of China's dictatorship, he told 60 Minutes that Wang, Wang was a friend of democracy and said the government should give him protection. I'm of the view that anyone who's willing to uh, assist us in defending our sovereignty deserves our protection. In saying that, Hasty chose to preempt ASIO's investigation. And this was before ASIO and, and our other intelligence agencies gave their advice to the National Security Committee of Cabinet on Tuesday this week. As the chair of the Joint Parliamentary Committee on Intelligence and Security, Hasty does have access to classified intelligence, but he's not privy to the full picture that goes to the National Security Committee of Cabinet. Despite the advice that Wang is not of interest to Australia, the Australian government and Scott Morrison may have little choice but to grant him a protection visa because sending him home or sending him back to China would surely, most definitely now, put his life at risk. This decision will inevitably put strain on China and Australia's relationship, like it did when Chen Yonglin defected to Australia in 2005. And all of this diplomatic trouble for a man who, according to our agencies, has little new information to offer Australia at all.